Okay, we're just going to give you a quick uh, video tour of the Oliver. And we're going to start here with, we just have a regular microwave, not a, conve not, not a convection. Um, we have the isotherm fridge. And there's a freezer. Actually much bigger than it looks. Yeah, it's much bigger than it looks. Overhead here, I left some things in here for um, just to get an idea of the depth and how much you can get in there. There's a sink cover, sink the cover drawers, as you know, are soft clothes. And then when you travel, you just lock it in place. Two burner stove. And then up here underneath, we've got the USB and the 12 volt plug. We put the remotes up here on command strips. They're protected by this little indentation there. It helps to kind of make it look symmetrical with the other controls, which we'll talk about here in a second. The blinds, this is the darkened shade. We can lower it. They've been flipped. These have been flipped, so they come from the top down like that. Add some more light. That's your emergency exit window. We have the drawer here for the nightstand, the TV, and then of course the Truma air conditioner. And I'm gonna back up here for just a second and let Brian talk about this little This cover. is a cover that, um, that we got from Van Life that it's magnetic. The magnets are inside the frame and it blocks out all the heat and the uh, cold. Not that there's very much, but the, it gives you a little bit of added, extra light and um, secures it there. So we, we love that cover. It's been great for us. Okay, this is the other side. And of course, we show you, showed you the blinds already, but those are nice day sh shades and the nightshade. Okay, and here are the controls right here. Okay, I'll start talking. This is the uh, Victron Energy Battery Monitor uh, here. Uh, I don't use this a whole lot except just for quick reference. Uh, this is a humidity and temperature sensor we put in. And then this is the Mopeka Remote Tank Monitor. You uh, just press the button and let it uh, find the sensor. It does have an app with it so that you can, so tank one is full. I uh, turn that off and I use the app more than I do this, but it's a very good uh, resource to have this on the wall. So it just checks it out for you and I uh, will let you know at a glance. We're almost out on tank two and I'll turn that off. This is the Furion uh, DVD player that's connected to the, the uh, television. It does Bluetooth audio from my phone. So I really enjoy that with the four speakers that are inside. Let's go ahead and look at these controls okay, too. Okay, we'll look at these controls. This is the Truma uh, Control Panel Plus. And um, right now it's just showing time. So this is the button that you select to do your heater or air. Right now we've got heater selected. When you select heater, you set your temperature. By the way, the heater is running. It's very, very quiet. And you hit enter. So we, the top line is a status line. Shows that we're on propane. And that's a, a bottle. And then this is auto fan. We could go to, also we could, uh, let me back out of here real quick. You can go over to fan. And fan has auto or a night mode, which makes it very quiet. But we usually keep it on auto because it's very quiet. Anyway, and then this uh, is your hot water. I uh, will turn hot water on and turn on eco so that it doesn't so your hot water will show up up here with the little eco symbol you can put it on eco or uh, full mode this is our sea level 2 tank monitor uh, the first thing on here is our water pump and it takes a second to pressurize and then you do turn it off there's also another water pump switch in the in the bathroom uh, the batteries the batteries are the only thing that don't do in percent they do an actual voltage so it's 13.4 batteries are topped off um, fresh We've got 69% of a 32 gallon tank. Uh, gray is zero of a 32 gallon tank and black is 5% of a 15 gallon tank. 
Down here is the Xantrex Freedom X 3000 watt inverter control panel. Uh, you press this and it'll show that we are on uh, the grid. We are connected to the grid. The batteries are, are being floated. So that is one of the levels of charge for lithium ionic, um, lithium iron phosphate batteries. They're lithionics batteries and why I got confused. And uh, so that's where you would turn on your inverter if you were not on the grid and you wanted to use inverted outlets. I'm going to show you the pantry really quick. It was nice and deep. I did keep some empty containers in here for reference. This is a water pitcher that we use. And then we have a little um, hot water pot, but we also have these bins in here. Nice and deep. I actually get a lot in there. All right, the dinette um, is here and the normal dinette turns into a bed if you want to. We keep our little shark vacuum down there below. And these boxes down here are... Those are your uh, fuse panel for 12 volt and your circuit breaker panel for AC. Okay. They both have access points on the top so that you can look in uh, from the top. And this is the bathroom. Let me quick go talk about these lights over here. Lights, These okay. are, we have two types of lights in the trailer. This is the, the of course it's not going to work, but you got to tap it and then you tap it to come back on. And these are the reading lights. You push on the ends to get them to come on. And so those are the two types along with the LEDs that are up on the top. And those are controlled by the master control panel. Okay, back to the bathroom. We have the fan up here. It's a Max Air mini fan. And then of course, um, you use this as your shower. It hooks up here. And we have the regular toilet. We do have the soft clothes um, seat. We put that in. Wooden toilet seat. It's a wooden toilet seat. So it soft you, closes. <laughs> You can, actually, really slow. you can actually sit on it without it flexing and bending yep. like the uh, plastic one that comes with it. Towel bar in the window and then of course um, the access up here. We put our toiletry bags up here and they work perfectly. Okay and then we'll let Go Brian the talk about the closet. We'll hold this. Okay, so this is the closet. I have some bins up there. And then it's pretty deep. Okay. And then do I talk about the door? Yeah, I'll talk about the door real quick. We're not going to open it. First of all, I put a little handle on the screen door right here. And um, uh, that helps us close it. And second, the normal windows are are frosted on the door and you cannot see out i've changed that out with an original lippert um tinted window and i've also put a uh, curtain type on the inside so we keep this folded down to one level you can fold it down to two or three or you can completely close it off if you want it blacked out but you have to do it before you close the door because it's in between the screen but what this does for you is when you're camping, you can look down out of the trailer and, the and then you can up, so. turn on your outside light and you can see if there's somebody who's knocking on your door. So that really helps. And then we have the, the deadbolt uh, here and the screen open on this side. And uh, otherwise it's just a standard door. This up here is our uh, master control panel. You've got a master switch over here. Your porch lights, outside courtesy lights, main cabin lights, the closet lights we were just using, the cabinet lights we were just using, the curbside awning, street side awning, and our rear camera. <coughs> we really love the rear camera. We put a hook here, and every time we uh, come in the trailer, we put our trailer keys right here, and uh, it helps us to uh, keep complete track of them. Also have a fire bottle uh, right there, and I think that's about all for the interior. Um, would you like to say anything else? No, I think that's about it, and we'll take some still shots as well.